Astronomers have detected a weird radio signal that's repeating every three seconds. And within this three second window, bursts of higher intensity radiation occur every 0.2 seconds. So this heartbeat shaped signal is a fast radio burst unlike anything seen before. But what are these mysterious radio signals? From where do these bursts of radio waves originate? Finally, and most importantly, why are these signals considered one of the most exciting unsolved problems in astronomy? The mystery of the fast radio burst began in 2007 at Parkes Observatory in New South Wales, Australia. Astronomers were looking at the radio telescope data to find anything unusual, anything mysterious. Months passed by and they found nothing, nothing and nothing. And then boom, a burst of high intensity radio waves lasting a few milliseconds and then again, nothing. This little spike excited the astronomers, who started wondering what might have caused it. Was this signal even from space? Or was it produced because someone used a phone near the radio telescope? Unfortunately, there was no way to find out because the signal was long gone. This spike was observed in the data recorded six years ago, in 2001. So astronomers did what they could detect more of these fast radio bursts. And in that process, they found 16 more such spikes that looked like fast radio bursts. But something didn't seem promising about them. If the radio burst came from space, it would just occur over one radio pixel. That's because the objects in the universe, no matter how big they are, are so far away that they appear as tiny specks in the sky. So if the burst had a cosmic origin, it would occupy just one radio pixel. But these new signals appeared over all 13 radio pixels of the telescope. Surely, that had a terrestrial origin. Another weird thing about them was they appeared during lunchtime. As it turned out, the burst was from a microwave oven. When the oven was open before being turned off, a burst of radio waves would escape giving the signal. Today, Radio astronomers call them paratons, signals that are similar to fast radio bursts but have a terrestrial origin. However, scientists also detected four additional bursts that occupied just a single radio pixel. These were the fast radio bursts coming from space and had no connection with terrestrial radio sources. But how could we be so sure about it? Well, besides the fact that they occurred at just one radio pixel, the shape of the signal wavefront offered clues that they were coming from space. Also, interferometers put a low limit of 10,000 kilometers for the distance to the FRBs, which means they could not have originated on Earth. Nevertheless, knowing that they have a cosmic origin wasn't enough, so the first question that needed an answer was that were these signals coming from within the Milky Way, or did they have an extragalactic origin? The next clue came from the signal itself. These FRBs were broadband signals, meaning they had a range of frequencies. When broadband radio signals pass through the gas and dust in space, the ones with lower frequency get delayed. So by measuring the time delay between the low and high frequency signals, scientists can determine the amount of gas these bursts have passed through. The results showed that these signals had passed through more gas than what's present in the solar system or even our home galaxy. Hence, the FRBs were coming from distant galaxies. Another clue that made the case of an extragalactic origin stronger was that these bright, point-like bursts were not concentrated on the Milky Way's plane. Instead, they appeared all over the sky. But knowing that FRBs originated in distant galaxies was also not enough. We needed to know the exact phenomenon or object producing the radio bursts. So, astronomers built a new telescope in Australia 
called ASCAP. It's an array of 36 telescopes that act like one big telescope. Not only could ASCAP detect the fast radio bursts, but it could also pinpoint the direction of their origin to within one hundred thousandth of a degree. That's about the size of a coin seen from 100 kilometers or 62 miles. So when ASCAP found the locked direction of one of the FRBs, astronomers turned the most powerful optical telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope, to the galaxy it came from. And this is what they saw. It's very different from the spectacular pictures of galaxies that we usually see from Hubble. That's because it's so far away that we must push the world's most powerful telescopes to the edge of their limits just to realize its existence. The fast radio burst came from this galaxy, almost 3.5 billion light years away. This means that the radio signal we detected started its cosmic journey when life was beginning on Earth. So how could it possibly be detected over such a huge distance? It must have been an extremely powerful event that created this burst. The energy from this millisecond radio burst was the same as our sun produces in one year. Whatever produced this fast radio burst that lasted a millisecond had to be no more than 10 kilometers in diameter. But do we know of such a powerful object in the universe, smaller than the size of a city? The answer is a neutron star. The dead core of a massive star that's like a giant atomic nucleus. A neutron star is one of the densest objects known in the universe. Even a teaspoon of its material would have a mass of 5.5 trillion kilograms, or 900 times the mass of the Great Pyramid of Giza. But neutron stars are not the only proposed objects responsible for FRBs. Astronomers hypothesize that they can also be created from black hole mergers, neutron star mergers, gamma ray bursts, supernovas, or even blitzars, hypothetical pulsars that can rapidly collapse into black holes. And of course, when radio signals from space are involved, how can we miss the hypothesis of aliens producing them? But the case of the neutron stars got stronger in 2020 when astronomers discovered the first FRB from within the Milky Way itself. Dispersion measurements showed that the signal came from the direction of a galactic magnetar, about 30,000 light years away in the Vipicula constellation. A magnetar is a highly magnetized neutron star having a magnetic field of the order of trillions of Teslas. This detection was an important milestone in radio astronomy providing concrete evidence that fast radio bursts have stellar origins. Although we have detected dozens of fast radio bursts in the last 15 years, the mystery is far from solved. In July 2022, astronomers detected a repeating FRB that lasted three seconds. That's about a thousand times longer than typical FRBs. Besides that, Bursts of higher intensity radiation occur every 0.2 seconds within the three second window. Another strange thing about this signal is that it has mixed signs of origin. It could either be coming from a pulsar or a magnetar. Although it's still unclear how far this signal has traveled, it has probably come from another galaxy. Its outburst appears to be over a million times brighter than magnetars and pulsars in our own galaxy. The team hopes they might catch some more outbursts from the mystery source of this FRB to narrow down where it comes from and what might be causing it. In turn, this could help us better understand neutron stars. This concludes the 17th episode of the Sunday Discovery series. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon so you don't miss any episode of this series. Thanks for watching.